Welcome to the Deltec Cobra 8.0 orientation training. This course is for people already familiar with Deltec Cobra 5 and who wish to learn about the major new version, Deltec Cobra 8.0. The Cobra 8.0 release introduces a major change to the user interface, along with some new features and capabilities. While the interface is radically different from the Cobra 5 interface, you will find the changes to be logical and well designed. You will find many welcome improvements to this new and exciting version of Deltec Cobra. This 35 minute video training course will quickly familiarize you with the new software design and features. At the completion of this video, you will be able to immediately and effectively navigate Deltec Cobra 8.0 and quickly find all the menu items and process tools you are already familiar with. This training video is broken into two lessons. Lesson 1 – Navigating the Cobra 8 interface Lesson 2 – New features Lesson 1 – Navigating the Cobra 8 interface in this lesson, basic navigation, tabs and ribbons, including the processes ribbon, the integration ribbon, the reporting ribbon, the tools ribbon, the edit ribbon, closing views, and the new project view. Basic navigation. The first difference to note with Cobra 8 is how it is listed in your Start All Programs menu. Where previously it was under the Deltec menu item, you'll now see it is listed under Deltec Cobra 8.0 directly in the top level of the All Programs menu. You will also note that the icon has changed. Abandoning the snake's head icon, the new Cobra icon is based upon the international monetary symbol, but has a section removed to create a C for Cobra. Upon starting the application, you are taken to a login dialog that is unchanged from the Cobra 5.1 version. Enter your username and password in here as normal. When you first log in, you will be immediately struck by the radical change in color and layout presented by Cobra 8. The color scheme is based upon another Deltec tool called iAccess. More importantly, however, there are changes to the menu and toolbar area. As you can see, the menus and tools have been replaced by tabs and tool groups that make up a ribbon based navigation system. We'll take a closer look at these ribbons shortly. Before we do, Let's take a look at some less radical changes that have been made to the Cobra Explorer. The first difference is that the Cobra Explorer tabs have been moved to the top of the window. So, if you have multiple projects or other ancillary items open, you will now navigate among these at the top of the Explorer window above the navigation plane and table area. In Cobra 5, these tabs were at the bottom of the Cobra Explorer and were not as easily visible as they are in Cobra 8. It is also worth pointing out that the Cobra Explorer tab can no longer be closed, as was possible in Cobra 5. The navigation pane itself remains basically unchanged, giving access to projects and ancillary files such as codes, rates and resources and reports as it did previously. Now, let's turn our attention to the top left of the Cobra screen. Here we see a large round button also sporting a Cobra icon. This is roughly equivalent to the Cobra 5 file menu, but has some differences. When we click on this button, we see the new and open options in the Cobra 5 file menu, and also the save and save as options. You may have noticed that you no longer have the integration option. We'll see why this has been removed shortly. From here, it's also possible to log in as a different user, change your password, and unlike the Cobra 5 file menu, you can now access the help system and access the user and application preferences dialogs from this menu. For easy access, help is also accessible at the top right of the Cobra 8 screen. 
On the right of this menu, you can see a history of recently opened objects such as ancillary files and projects. Finally, you'll see there's an exit button at the bottom right of the menu. This will close the Cobra 8 application. To the right of the Cobra button is a configurable quick start toolbar. Here, you can have commonly used functions available to you, and you can use the pull down arrow to the right of the buttons to select what items you want on your quick start toolbar. Tabs and ribbons. Depending on where you are in the navigation pane list, you will see up to five tabs listed where the Cobra 5 menus used to be. With projects selected in the navigation pane, let's take a look at each of these tabs. The Processes ribbon. Starting with Processes, this tab provides a ribbon containing all the functions associated with the monthly update process. The Processes ribbon contains a similar set of features that were previously available in the Project menu of Cobra 5. In the Status group, we can see Advanced Calendar, Rolling Wave, Calculate Progress, and Calculate Forecast. It's important to point out at this moment that Calculate Progress is the new term for what was previously called Calculate Earned Value. The change in terminology has been made by Deltec to present a more generic term for a growing number of organizations that use COBRA for cost management purposes, but are not necessarily practicing earned value management. The fields in the CAWP table that were previously named Earned in COBRA 5 are now named Progress Technique. You can use the Application Preferences dialog to change the names back to Earned if you like, and then restart COBRA. This change will not affect the Calculate Progress button name, just the CAWP field names. The next section in this ribbon is called Process. This contains all the functions used to support the management and maintenance of the project data. Again, these options closely reflect the Cobra 5 project menu in that it offers freeze forecast, top down planning, recalculate, respread, reclass, replan, slip, and apportionment functions. The last section of this ribbon is called Audit and gives access to the project audit features. In short, if you are looking for functions that were previously in the project menu, you will now find them in this Processes ribbon. The Integration ribbon. This ribbon represents a fairly major shift in the way you will access the integration wizard. Rather than opening the wizard using the Integration Wizard button and then selecting the type of integration you want to do, this ribbon saves you some mouse clicks. Now you select the type of integration you want directly from the ribbon, thus bypassing the first selection dialog that was invoked in the Cobra 5 system. For example, if you are looking to integrate with Microsoft Project, you will click the MS Project button and the Integration Wizard will open in the Integration Configuration dialog. Here you can see that the Where are you loading the data from field is already set to Microsoft Project. You can of course change it from here if you wanted to, as long as it's another load project data operation such as Open Plan, Primavera, or loading from a file. As you can see, the Import section of the ribbon offers a quick start to the integration wizard for importing project data, actual costs, ancillary data, apportionment, assignments, and configuration security. The Export section provides functions for exporting resources to OpenPlan, OpenPlan Calendars, WinSight, UNCFACT, and EIA X12 formats. The last option here is Assignments. This is the export side of the feature previously known as the Assignment Export Import tool. Therefore, access to the popular Interactive Spreadsheet Assignment Export Import tool has been split between the Import and Export sections of this integration ribbon, whereas previously this was all done from the Assignment Export Import dialog. The Reporting Ribbon 
The reporting ribbon offers tools for working with the reporting features of Cobra. It does also include some more generic features such as clipboard tools for copying data out of Cobra tables to spreadsheets and such. Sharing some of the tools found in the Cobra 5 reports menu, the reports ribbon offers a run button, which is only enabled when a report is selected in the all or personal reports view. At present, this run button functions identically to the report wizard button. Both of these will currently invoke the report wizard. In future releases, however, this new run button will provide features to simplify reporting by allowing a report to be run without the need for the report wizard. Moving along, a recent button provides an interactive list of recently opened reports, and a delete button is for removing reports from the all or personal reports list. Use of this will of course depend on your particular access privileges. The calculated results tool is now found on this ribbon along with the batch reports, analyze, and finally a properties button to open the report properties dialog. The term properties is a change in terminology from Cobra 5, whereby items previously referred to as information dialogues are now properties dialogues. For example, report properties was previously known as report information, and this dialog gave you access to some of the underlying setup and configuration options for a selected report. Taking a closer look at the Analyze feature for a moment, if we click on the Analyze button, it opens with its own edit ribbon. This ribbon exposes some of the features that were previously only accessible using a right-click pull-down menu. You can now run charts from the graph section of the ribbon and export to spreadsheets from the clipboard area. And the right-click menu is still there should you want to use it. The Tools Ribbon The Tools Ribbon is somewhat equivalent to the Cobra 5 Tools menu. The Tools section contains the Align Time Phase Dates feature, Zero Out Data, Update Codes, and Replace Resources. A new feature called Calculated Fields can be found in the Custom Fields section. This new feature will be explained in Lesson 2. You will also find the Update Totals and SQL Command Utility in the Data section of this ribbon, along with the Validity Check and Process Logs tool in the Validation section. The Edit Ribbon Finally, we come to the Edit Ribbon. This ribbon is context-sensitive, meaning whenever we change to a different view in the navigation pane, Cobra will switch to the Edit Ribbon by default, and the contents of the Edit Ribbon will change depending on what view we are in. For example, if you are in the Project view in the Cobra Explorer, you will have tools in the Edit Ribbon pertinent to managing project data. If, however, you're in the Codes view of the Explorer, the Edit Ribbon will have tools pertinent to editing the contents of a code file. The dynamic nature of the edit menu goes a long way to making the transition from Cobra 5 to Cobra 8 a reasonably seamless process. A blue indicator box appears above the edit ribbons tab, letting you know what object the edit ribbon is currently offering. Owing to this careful design, you will generally find the tools you need quickly and easily in the appropriate ribbons. Closing Views As before, you will find a large Close button at the bottom right of your Project, Rate, Resource, and Code Views, which allows you to close this tab. You will also see there is an X in the View tab that will allow you to close it. The New Project View Now, let's take a closer look at some improvements that have been made to the Cobra 8 Projects View. To do this, we'll open a project. One of the biggest changes in Cobra 8 has been to remove the Resources tab from the lower screen and bring resource data into the table area above. This move has vastly expanded the array of data that can be explored in the CAWP table area. 
when we look at the projects view, we now see a vertical split in the CAWP table. The table on the left is similar to the former CAWP table in that it displays the WBS, OBS, work package, description, and other columns and rows that make up the project. Previously, this table was limited to displaying control accounts and work packages. In Cobra 8, however, we can expand the work packages or control accounts to see resource assignments below. On the right side of the divider line, there is now a time phase table. Some additional columns, such as resources and a class column, are also visible on the left. We can now see the resources that are assigned to the work package and the class of cost that assignment has. To the right of the screen, we see a summary of total currency results for that particular resource. If we select one of these resources and take a look at the Time Phase Detail tab at the bottom right of the screen, we see the breakout of direct and indirect values, similar to that which we used to see in the Cobra 5 Resources tab. This is a major improvement because it has not previously been possible to see two resources side by side time phased in the Cobra UI. In addition, you can see information rolled up so you can see summaries at the work package and control account levels. Previously, it was necessary to run a time phase report to see such a view as this. This change to the projects view brings with it a number of new capabilities that will be discussed in more detail in Lesson 2. This concludes Lesson 1, Navigating the Cobra Interface. If you have access to Cobra 8, we recommend you take a few minutes now to familiarize yourself by navigating the new menus and ribbons. This is a production of 106 Consulting LLC, copyright 2016, all rights reserved. For more information about Cobra Training and Consulting Services, please visit 106.com.